What's up guys and welcome, you are watching Fancy Fitness. Let's stop this video with Ross Patrick and his office an update and the first thing you guys will notice are those humongous quads. I'm pretty sure Ross has one of the best quad sweep in the entire pro league right now. Imagine those sweeps on a guy like the mutant neck walker. I mean that upper body with that kind of sweep, that will blow the entire competition out of the water. But sadly that isn't the case, that is how it has always been throughout the history of the sport. And as good as Ross is in the lower half, he has a lot of catching up to do in order for his physique to look balanced top to bottom. So there will never be a point in his career where his upper body will become as impressive as his lower half. Because the thing is, it's just genetics. I'm sure he has already been putting in a lot of work for years. And maybe if he can back off from training legs or don't hit them as hard or as frequently as he does his upper half, maybe that will help him. Nonetheless, he is an Olympian for life and no one can take that away from him. Excited to see him make all the necessary improvements and get back on stage in late 2024. Rodrigo's hernia surgery was a success. He's gonna take some time to rest, to recover, and hopefully start his training for the upcoming 2024 season very soon. Vito has yet to make his pro debut and he has to be one of the most hyped up guys walking into the pro ranks because of the uniqueness of his physique. He's gonna be a dangerous bodybuilder, there is no doubt about that. And the reason is he carries so much mass and that too at such a young age. And because he has grown tremendously over the years and while growing he made sure that his waistline stays the same and his V-taper has continued to enhance. Yes, he doesn't have a great back, we all know that. But neither does Michael Crizzo and just look at Crizzo's trajectory into the pro league. Now, I'm not saying Vito is on the same level as Crizzo. Crizzo is 7th best in the world in only 2nd year of his career. But Vito is much more younger and I really believe he has a lot of potential if he sticks to the plan. So Vito's career is definitely gonna be the one to watch out for in 2024. Marcelo aka Harsamdi making sure that he stays ahead of the schedule for this upcoming Arnold Classic. If I'm not mistaken, he has already stated that he wants to do the Arnold Classic Ohio which is gonna be such a huge exposure for him. I mean the guy shocked the bodybuilding world by beating a guy who has 11 pro wins. That is none other than Nathan Diesha. That too at his pro debut which happened in Romania. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see him compete at Prague. Yes, he was supposed to do a Prague Pro and the reason he pulled out was because of some health issue. And obviously with Samson Dauda in the show, he wasn't in there running for the win. But Japan Pro was scheduled just a week after that, which Theo Laguerre won. I think Harsamdi had a great shot at winning that show and get his Olympia qualification. But that being said, he still has plenty of time and plenty of shows to choose from to get his qualification for 2024. His quads are just insane. They are so impressive. The one shot which he needs to work on the most is the front lash spread. Although his waist isn't what it used to be, especially when he came onto the scene. But the way he poses, he hides his flaws pretty damn well. So I think we will see Harsamdi on the Olympia stage next year. What are your expectations from him? Do let me know in the comments below. And hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.